They'll be saying, oh, Lord, here they come. Yeah, here we come. Huh, here we come. <laughs> here we come. Here we come. What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? It's your boy Sasquatch, and we are back with some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. And for those of you who do not know, we are on my server, Mr. Squatch, PvP Boosted. I also have a server, Mr. Squatch, PvX Boosted, if you would like to join either of those. But first off, guys, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming to watch my video and uh, chilling with me today. If you are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content. Share the videos with your friends. Smash the like button and always turn that bell notification on. Anyway, guys, we had a big, big update. Yes, we did. So, first of all, we're going to be talking about, in this video, mainly the Spino TLC and the new Dodo update. So, let's go ahead and we will get into that. I wanted to go find a Dodo or a, a Spino to tame. Let me, oh, my video's an epic. That would explain why. I thought it was looking a little laggy there when I was recording. But I want to go tame a Spino so we can look at the new TLC that came out. And basically check that out for a few seconds. And then I want to get into the... Dodo update because I am most excited for the Dodos. You have no idea. But before we do that, look at this new view survivor mode. So it kind of, it's like a 360 degree view of you and anything you want. So I can spin around, I can look anywhere I want. And then you have right here filters. You can anime, vibrant, how you pronounce that, retro. And um, you can adjust the light, the shadows. The color, like, it is awesome. And you can reset it. So that is with that. And you can, like, you can do all sorts of crazy shots. Like, can I, can I back up here? Um, can I go up? Okay, I think I'm stuck. Anyway, you double tap, or you tap twice on the left side of your screen to get out of that mode. But let's go find us a dank Spino. I really want to show you guys this TLC. And then we're going to get busy taming some Dodos because, uh, we need to breed them because dodos can get massive now, even big enough for you to be able to ride them. But we'll get into that in a minute. So I will be back in a few seconds once we find a Spino. Also, I forgot to mention that they added loot drops in the PvP. Finally, it's about time. I know a lot of people were asking for this. Honestly, I wish they would add loot drops into... Um, PvE as well, because why not? I just wish loot drops were in, like, all platforms. But anyway, they are in PvP now, so super, super exciting. Y'all can run around grabbing all your loot drops. Ooh, that looks like a... What color is that one? That one's, like... That one looks like a... Are they all changing colors? Do they all do that? That one looks like it's changing colors. Huh. I don't know what's with this one. Anyway, it's super, super awesome. That actually looks different than the rest of them. What, what is that over there? Let's go fly and see what this is. Sorry to get sidetracked, guys, but I don't believe I've, I've, I've seen... Oh, it's still coming down. Okay, I got you. That makes sense. Anyway, I'm still on the hunt for Spinos, so we will return once we find one, and once it's daytime so we can see a little bit better. Ooh, guys, look at this Spino. I think that's a really cool-looking Spino. So, finally found one. You can usually find Spinos, like, everywhere, and for some reason... This one took me a good minute to find. So, of course, I have Admin Console on just to make it easier for recording to tame this guy. Let's see if I'm doing damage because sometimes when uh, I have Admin Console on, it doesn't, doesn't, you know, do damage. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. He is sick. Okay, we'll get a better look once we, once we do this. So, let's go ahead and knock this guy out. I got some Toxic Arrows. It's only a level 30. So it shouldn't take too, too long to knock this guy out. Okay, let's see if I have... Let's see if I do damage now. Nope, put it away. Take it back out. Uh, damage yet? No, nope. okay. Let's take that off. Let's take that away. Let's turn it back on. I can't remember exactly how to get this work. Someone told me before how to exactly do it. There we go, okay. Wait, is that working? Okay, knocked out. Knocked out! Did we do any damage to him after? No. 100%. Alright, I'm going to level this guy up because, of course, we want a high level. Let's clear the area a little bit of, like, these things. Uh, Dilos and such, because we don't want them... We, we don't want them messing up our tame. But let's go ahead and throw some... Uh, 
what you call it, biotoxin on this guy so he does not wake up. Because I definitely don't want to level him up and then him just decide to wake up when he's like a level 300. That would suck. I would not be able to knock him out again. But I am super, super excited for this Spino TLC. Um, it was asked for and we finally ended up getting it. It's super, super exciting. Oh, God. What's attacking? Something attacking me? Ooh, I hope he didn't hit my tame. Nope, he didn't hit it. Okay. I don't think I have anything to uh, kill this guy with. Oh, my gosh. I guess I'll shoot him with these until he dies. Oh, that works. One shot killed him. Okay, and I think I have a whole bunch of meat on my Quetzal. Quetzal, however you want to pronounce it. Let's get all the meats off of this guy. And basically, we'll just admin level him. We will level him up as he eats, so hopefully he tames pretty quick. But let's go ahead and bring him up probably to level like 100 something, 150. And then I will spam level up as he's eating. That way he should tame a lot quicker. But gosh, guys, look how gorgeous this guy is. He's got the red fin. Um, oh, God, these dang ants. At least they attack me and not my tame. So that is the good thing. All right, let's go ahead and keep leveling him up. Oh, God. Of course. Of course. Come here, raptor. Come here. Here, let's get the raptor to follow me. I swear, stuff just, like, spawns in when you're, like, not even expecting it. Like, you're just sitting there trying to do your thing, and then a raptor... Raptors ruin so many of my tames. It is insane. I have no idea how many tames they have ruined. All right, let's go ahead and throw all the meats in this guy. Let's go ahead and feed a little bit more bio first, just to be sure. I do not want him waking up. Okay, throw that in there. 1.8% per uh, per bite, so he's definitely going to lose a lot of levels because this isn't the best way. Um, I should have got some oh, kibble for him, but it'll be okay. We'll just keep spamming level up. I think 350 is the high, or 300 is the highest. So let's see. We'll get him up to like 250-ish, and he'll keep dropping levels anyway. So he won't be perfect. Um, he won't be a perfect tame, but we'll get there. He's at 264. He'll gain 100, so that'll be three. Oh gosh, wait. I think I leveled him up too much. Uh-oh. I think 450 is max, though. So as long as we just let these levels drop and we don't level him up past 450, or do this past 450, we're fine. So he should tame off of this. It's going up fairly quickly. 63%, 65, 67. So we'll be there in a second. But while he's taming, we're going to talk a little bit about the dodos. So if you go to your inventory and you're crafting and you select all, you'll see we have... Sail Plume resource, which you can craft with Dodo Feathers, Hide, Ancient Amber, and Argentavis Talons, and it gives you an extra boost on your boat. And then you have these awesome Dodo Arrows, which basically says you shoot wild creatures and they're considered the worst possible insult. So I don't know exactly what they do, but apparently if you shoot any creature with them, it'll piss them off, which, I mean, it makes creatures mad whenever you shoot them regardless. Then you have this, which is amazing. It says this can... um do damage to any known material that is awesome but your dodo has to have a size of at least 3.0 which we'll talk about in a minute and then this one is a cultivator it says it, found, it finds um it finds rummaging of brushes and plants for hidden vegetables so that one finds vegetables apparently so let's go ahead and put this guy on passive now that he is tamed let's tell him to stop following and let's go ahead and put the saddle on him and i will get on him and check this guy out Go ahead and throw some levels into him. Might as well. Might as well level him up at least. What do you tame out to? A 347? Okay, so we're fine. We're fine. 450, I think, is the max after tame. So we are perfectly fine. I want to put attack into this guy and see how much damage he does. Come on. Level up. Getting there. Getting there. Getting there. Gosh, man. I, 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 don't, I didn't think I'd be this excited for a Spino TLC. I don't know why I'm this excited, but I definitely am. Come on. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, wait, wait. I th think that's it. Perfect, perfect. Now let's go ahead and put, let's put everything in the melee. Why not? Why not everything in the melee? Make this guy super, super strong. Speed, I'm not too, too worried about. It'll be okay. He didn't have to be the fastest thing in the world. Now his melee is 913%. Awesome. And ignore the uh, ring around the screen. That's because of the biotoxin. But anyway, let's, uh, we're on all fours right now. Let's let's have this guy take on this Pariser. Man, he is just chewing through him. 
Look at this. Oh my gosh, almost dead. Wow. Get him some meats in his inventory. Let's get this guy next. Hydration buff enabled. Ooh, so he gets a hydration buff in the water. I don't know if that was that way before, but it definitely is now. All right, so I really can't see. Let's see if we can go to the view survivor mode and see if we can see. Look how awesome this guy is. Look at those eyes. This guy is a beauty for sure. I like the red fin. Anyway, can I do it while we're in this view mode? Ooh, you, let's get him out of the water and then we'll do the roar and everything. Let's get him out of the water. That roar. Oh man, I love it. Okay, what, what did that do? That's the roar. And this is what I was looking for. This is what was added. You get them up on their hind legs. Yes. Heck yeah. I'm super excited for this. Can you roar for us? Yes. Oh my gosh, guys. This is amazing. Okay. Let's see how fast he is on his hind legs. And he should be able to hit with his uh, front feet now. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to see though in this mode. Let's go kill this little uh, dodo. Sorry, Dodo, didn't mean to kill you, but uh, yeah, you had to go. And then to put him back down, I swipe down. No, nope, wait, that was the, um, there we go. Now he's back on all fours. And look at the way they waddle. I swear that never happened before. They had, I'm pretty sure they updated it. But now we got the hydration buff. Let's wreck this guy. Oh my gosh, it only took like two hits. Let's kill this uh, Therizinosaur. It's a level uh, 140, but we're eating through it. Oh, let's, let's get up on his hind legs. Oh my gosh, look how fast he hits. Holy crap, let's kill this snake. We are just demolishing everything. I think the Spino has became like one of my new favorite dinos now. Oh my gosh, it just feels so much better, guys. Like it's, it's so much more smooth. It's just amazing. Nice, let's go kill these over here. Come here, boys, come here. I'm gonna kill you before you kill that turtle. How's that? Did it, dang, I killed the Sarko before I killed the turtle. Oh my gosh, this is insane. And it still moves pretty fast um, when you're on a tiny legs. But would you just look at this guy? J just look at it. I'm in love. I have to say, I'm going to breed Spinos and I'm going to have a little Spino army. Oh my gosh. Okay, well enough of the uh, falling in love with Spinos. Let me uh, go find a Dodo. And we're going to tame a Dodo and talk a little about them. But I will maybe, I'll probably make another video specifically about Dodos, Dodo breeding, and uh, what all this means and what they can do. So we'll be back in a few seconds. Peeps. All right, peeps. We have found us a Dodo. So right here is level 230 Dodo, which is pretty respectable for the server, especially because my server, the max level is 300. So let's go ahead and knock this guy out and tame him. Ooh, I forgot to get berries. Oh, well, I think I have a um, chef station. We can get some berries. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy. Hopefully, yeah, I'd say it shouldn't take too much to knock him out. Even though it's a high level dodo, it, it doesn't ever take that much. Let's go ahead and put some biotoxin in him. Hopefully nothing comes and attacks him. I thought that was something that's gonna come eat him. I was about to be like, no, don't eat my dodo. But let's go ahead. That should be plenty. Uh, let me get my chef station out, I believe. Can't I, can't I buy, um, no, I can't buy berries in here, can I? Uh, what kibble does a dodo eat? That is the question. We could feed it with, uh, kibble, but I don't remember what kibble it eats. Uh, oh my gosh, I forget, I forget. Oh, well, let's go grab some berries real quick. We can do that. That, that won't take too, too long. As long as there's some, uh, bushes around here to get berries. Here we go. Okay, let's get some berries. We'll feed this guy. We'll get him tamed up nice, nice and quick. So I'll be back in a few seconds once we've uh, gathered enough, enough berries to tame this guy. So we'll see y'all in a few seconds. All right, so we got a ton of berries. It hopefully should be enough to tame this cute little sleeping dodo. Would, would you just look at this little cute dodo? I like the color on him. Anyway, this is a male. So of course, after we do this, we will have to get a female to be able to breed. But the thing about dodos is they're so easy to tame. You can literally, you can literally tame like a million dodos super, super quick. So I'm gonna level this guy up just a little bit. Get out of my way. Uh oh. 
I, I, I just want you to get out of my way so I can tame my dodo. Now, what's, what's something's being attacked or something else? I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and level this guy up a little bit. That way he eats quicker. We don't want to get him anywhere past 300 because that means that he'd end up going past 450 possibly. Okay, 270. I was spamming it too, too quick. That should be fine right there. Um, I want this to be quick for the video, so I am going to go ahead and use a soothing bomb because I got it in a, in a thing. So why not? So we will use that. Now let's give him a little bit more bio because it is going down. And we'll give him that. That. Let's give him all the berries in the world. 56%, 74%, 93%, and tame. So, as you can see, this says Dodo Scale 1.12. Kind of like the Equus. And, um, oh, what else has the scale? Um, I can't remember. It's like the Equus, basically, though. But that scale, if you remember, when we looked at our craft, when we looked at the crafting stuff for the Dodos, it says it needs to be a scale of, this one says 3.0 times or bigger, and this one says 2.6. So basically, this guy can't wear those. But if we take him and we go tame a female and breed them, and that scale gets bigger, then eventually we'll have a big enough dodo where those can wear those. And there are some bigger dodos than other. Obviously, if I go tame a whole bunch of dodos, some dodos are going to have a bigger scale than this guy. Um, is it wanting me to pick him up? There we go. Let's pick this guy up. Run, dodo, run! But anyway, so that is how the dodos work, and that's how we are going to breed them and make a massive dodo army, and hopefully, hopefully, one that you can ride. That is my that's my biggest thing, is I hope I can make one that we can ride. But anyway, we'll get into more of dodo breeding later. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I didn't miss too, too much stuff. Oh, wait, 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 before we go, I don't want to forget the very, very awesome, important thing. Now we have, oh, where was it? It was the alarms. Um, was it in here? I believe. Yeah, here it is. Warning system. So I already learned the other one. It's at my base. But there's alarm systems, and um, I could go back to my base, and we could. Sh I could show you. Let me do that. I'll go back to the base, and I will show you the alarm real quick, and then that will be it, guys. So I'll be back here in another few seconds. All right, we are back at the base, and here in all of its glory is the alarm that I learned. Now, this does take 50 amber to craft along with, like, metal and some other stuff. But this is a warning system. So, basically, you turn this on, and it gives you push notifications if anyone starts damaging anything on your base within range of this. And this is protecting 541 structures. So, I imagine it has a pretty big span because it's protecting all of this stuff. But if someone starts attacking me, this alarm in-game will actually go off. So, they will actually hear an alarm in-game. And then it'll put, send me a push notification letting me know someone's attacking my base. And I can hop on and stop the attack. So super, super awesome. Oop, there's my little dodo. Look at him. He's so cute. Also, we need a name for this guy. So please in the comments, leave down below a name for him. And eventually we will have a massive dodo army that we can ride and maybe go kill a titanosaur with or something amazing. That would be awesome, awesome, awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to smash the like button. And share these videos with your friends. And as always, guys, take it one day at a time. Peace out.